Hello everyone, I'm Trestic44, I'll soon in his fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. Last episode, we did some more exploring around the Kororokuhu Island chain, and found one of the islands we needed to actually map out. Now, we are looking for someone in particular who's around here. Briny Gro- Okay, we are not going to fight that. Ooh, we can buy things, but nothing I really want. So we'll leave that. That area is very high level. In fact, some of this stuff is high is higher level. Uh, well, let's take a look at Ho Honu Lagu- Well, how much longer until you're healed? One day. Let a day pass, and then we'll have the guy back. Got a shipwreck. Again, we'll let a time pass. There we go. No longer injured, which means... Got our good helmsman back. Okay, sift through that. Imperial long gun, some rice, and principy colors. There's Veen. Hey, buddy. We have to talk. Ninth level. You're not a problem. Ninth level, easy to slay. Now, he himself, since he is a different kind of creature, might be a bit more of a problem. Oh my god, he just- that one just exploded. Go on, you guys can take them all down. These guys are just dying easily. You guys are all falling very quickly. There's Veen right there, and Veen is dead. I had just enough time to actually visibly see him, and he died. Perfect. <laughs> one more Prince P. Nope. Oh, it looks like one of us, one of our guys, charmed. Sorry about that, Ashiza. But there we go. All right, take all the loot. We're good. We are getting a lot of loot that we're going to need to sell whenever we return to whatever we were doing. Nekataka? Yeah, when we return to Nekataka. Okay, so what is this lagoon? The ship crests a high wave before plunging into the next trough, shuddering down its length. Clinging to the rail, Doru shouts orders from the aft castle as water rushes across the deck. Jordu red-handed plunks into the rough sea. Something ahead in the water! A massive, pale gray form appears briefly in the water ahead of you, disappearing with a flash of a flat fin tail. Identify it. As it crests again, you make out three tusks jutting directly out in front of the beast like a trio of sharpened spears. A kilatic, a large carnivorous whale known for punching holes through the sides of ships. We'll let the creature pass in peace. Jordu red-handed's eyes meet yours. I'm not sure that's an option, Captain. As if on cue, the beast explodes from among the waves, its three massive tusks stabbing forward as it slams into the side of the ship. The higher tusk tears into the rigging and mainsail, while the thicker lower tusk rip through the side of the ship and juts from the deck. Aloth only barely manages to avoid being impaled by one of the protruding tusks. Blast it with magic! Uh, fireball. Aloth hurls bolts of magic at the beast, scoring its flesh, but it continues to thrash, tearing apart the deck with its tusks, biting into the hull with its toothed maw, angrier than ever. Throw an explosive at it. A uh, lightning bomb! That would be effective. Adair hurls the explosive directly into the beast's blowhole. Nice. Electricity arcs bluish wide across the beast's back, leaping up to the mast and down to the surface of the water. Oops. The whale's tusks remain lodged in the ship and its blood slickens the deck, but calm again falls over the vixen. The crew gather, quietly clapping one another on the back before they begin harvesting the beast. All right, well, we got a horn and some meat. 
That could have gone better, but we did take it out. Ship will get repaired in time. All right. How about we take a look at whatever is to the south here? Mortar's Wrath. That's a hell of a name. Oh. Captain, a moment. You hear the voice of Cheetapek raised in question, then an insistent knock at your cabin door. Cheetapek pokes their head into your quarters and frowns. We found a man drifting on a piece of flotsam. The deckhands tried to talk to him, but he's speaking in a tongue none of us have heard before. Should we meet him on board, see if we can get a few words of sense out of him, or would you rather leave him to his fate? Bring him aboard, I'll meet him on the deck. Cheetapek nods, acknowledging your order, and hurries out the door. You gather your equipment and head out onto the main deck. Why would we leave a man to die like that? That's so cruel. You find a young man waiting for you on deck. He wears heavy clothing of a kind you've never seen, the colors of his tabard bold and bright. He stands, but barely. Sodden, sun-scorched, and battered, he can barely keep his feet. He stumbles forward a bit, then rights himself. He looks at you warily, bleary-eyed, exhaustion heavy on his shoulders. Are you all right? <laughs> he coughs out the last word, then buckles over and vomits a tremendous amount of seawater onto the deck. I hope he coughed up whatever it was that made him talk like that. Lapilikiko? <sighs> He knits his eyebrows. His words are unfamiliar to you. Their sound low and hard-edged, but his tone is soft with confusion. Let's try Adirin. Adirin. Oh, sorry. He throws up his he throws his arms up in a helpless, frustrated gesture. Point to yourself and slowly say your name. Laniara. Ah. He, his eyes light up with the first expression of happiness you've seen from him. As he pronounces his name for you, he taps the center of his forehead. I got it. Your name's Reka. He pumps his fist a bit, pleased to have finally managed to communicate with you. Relief brings a bright blush to his pale cheeks. He turns away then, casting his gaze over the rough sea. What he's thinking is unclear, but you can guess by the vein pulsing hard in his neck and the tight fists at his sides that he seems to be coming to a decision. As soon as the words leave his mouth, he grimaces, knowing that you can't understand him. He repeats his last sentence, this time gesturing to the length of your ship, to you, to your crew, and lastly to himself. It would seem he wishes to travel with you. Welcome aboard, Rekka. Ah, Though he doesn't understand your words, he grasps well enough your meaning. Rekka gives you a small smile and quick nod of his head in acknowledgement. Or perhaps some thanks. Oh! Another fighter! Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Uh, we'll investigate him later. And we have level ups. Okay, Adair. Go ahead, take another point in explosives and streetwise. And I'll give you the same things. Queen, clean sweep and critical defense. And, oh god. Uh, learn how to use a pistol, sure. And Aloth leveled up too. So, history and alchemy. And you get better spells, so let's see. Major Grimoire imp Imprint. We've got Wilting Wind. Raw damage on anyone in the area and leaving them weakened. Catabald's Black Bow summons a bow. Temporal Cocoon. While trapped in the cocoon, the prisoner cannot act, be attacked, or affected by abilities. However, all effects already on the cocoon's prisoner will continue to affect them. That's interesting if we put some sort of uh, DOT ability on someone. Because if you put a damage on time ability on someone and then put them in a cocoon, they'll basically keep getting damaged and not be able to do anything. Piercing Sigil. Uh, when he or she is struck in place, the sigil retaliates with pierce damage. Wall of many colors. 
varied damage and afflictions on all those passing through it. A ghostly skeletal hand rakes across the area, doing freeze damage to all those within, leaving them weakened and hobbled. I'll give him that, and... Uh... Wilting Wind. That could be useful. Oh, jeez. The... F small shield there. Not that you're going to use it. But that'll do. Alright, we should put some things on here. Uh... You go in there. Oh, you just picked up the Moahoara meat. That's actually fine. Vithrax silk sails. I don't know how we picked those up, but sure. Okay, we got that. You go in there. You... We ran out. Hmm. You go there. You go there. You go in there. You are plus three. And you are plus zero. And that'll do. All right, plenty to drink. Plenty to eat. Let's move on! We'll investigate the spider later. Whenever we uh, have a place to sit and rest. Alright, I doubt there's really going to be anything else over here. Doesn't seem like it. That's just getting uncovered. And let's get this bit uncovered. I should have grabbed that first. I didn't realize that went so long. Uh, one thing I'm curious about. How am I getting along in the upgrading? I'm about halfway there. That's good. You know what? I bet I can actually talk to the guy right now. Let's talk to him, see what he has to say. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Creep is there. Looks like he's downstairs. Okay, fair enough. See, Constantine, Fasina. There's Rekka. Let's speak to him. He has nothing else to say. Okay, then, fair enough. I guess, yeah, why would he have anything really to talk about? Oh, well. Alright, so I do see some things up here. Wamaro the Pretender and Sentinel Hill. We can try Uamoru the Pretender. It's gonna be a difficult fight, but we can try it. Let me drop a save first. Alright, let's see what we can do here. First up, grab the water. Uamoru the Pretender, let's see how this fight goes. You guys are all in the wrong you spot. Sure? I don't know why. There he is. He's got a bunch of animal companions and a spore. And it's going to be tricky to actually reach them because we've got all this. Some first. Hey, watch it with that. All right, focus on the animals. You Throw this down. There, there's some extra damage. Throw this on them. That'll help out as well. What? How did you shoot me? Okay, either way, we're doing decently. How about you throw that out? Elder Panther's almost dead. 
Not necessarily the ideal one, but okay. Almost got the other animals. Okay, damaging the dank score. You really need to give Adair a healing. Okay, that's down. And Adair just walked out of the healing, but we have him. I have a feeling, yep, Uamoru's head, that means this was a bounty. All right, that honestly didn't go too badly. Amina's legacy. So it's accurate, unfit for melee, exceptional. Precision impact, chance to daze a target on hit. Increased chance to daze target on hit if wielder is a dwarf. And 15% damage as crush, with bonuses being 5% damage as slash, or 10% plus 10 accuracy against beasts and extra damage against beasts, with the further option, chance to stun target on hit, which is probably, yeah, days, stun instead of days, or warning of blue water. Sounds an echo of Amina's warning to the blue water tribe, grants the resolute inspiration to nearby allies and the shaken affliction to nearby enemies. Interesting. Hand-bounding boots is a thing now. Uh -huh. Okay. While that was a bit brutal on one of them... But, uh... And, a and uh, Adair took quite a bit of hits, but we got... But we took care of it. Yoshi will speak soon. So... Overall, I'm content with that. We are going to be able to turn on so many bounties when we get an opportunity. Okay, we've got a... Oh wait, Wodica's Strangling Grass. What is that? It's gloves. Plus two might, plus two burn armor rating, and garrote. Choke the target, paralyzing them and dealing raw damage over time. When the effect ends, the target is prone. Interesting. Do I have anything that gives me strength? Let's see. Perception, religion, insight, intellect. No strength. That's dexterity. I don't. Okay. I'll definitely take that. <laughs> so I'm going to be able to strangle someone if I really want it. Well, garrote them. That's a useful item. Alright. Let's take a look at this Sentinel Hill. Well, first let's get this water. Then we can get this. And we have a flooded cave, too. Hmm. Let's check Sentinel Hill. Something's not quite right, but you can't place why. You realize, then. Silence. The wind does not whisper across your skin or stir the tops of trees. Birds do not whistle and shriek. The chirp of insects is gone. Rounding a corner, the sounds of distant chanting find you. You can't make out the words, only the low drone of many voices raised in unison. Search for the source. You come upon a rocky switchback path leading up the steep side of the mountain. The chanting voices are louder here, but you still can't make sense of the words. Sneak closer. As you creep up the path, Aloth's boots crunch on the stones. A second misplaced step sends a stone bouncing loudly down the hill. The spirits surround a central figure, and they all turn their ghostly eyes on you. Aloth! You screwed up! Come, sisters. We shall call down the power. Well, that's not good. Sirens and an ancient wraith. Well, you're gonna get out the spells we need. How about you start with this? Oh, you summoned me away. 
Oh, of course they'd be immune to that. Why wouldn't they? That was actually kind of stupid. How about you cast this? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Why would I work on spirits? It wouldn't, of course. How about exposed vulnerabilities? Combusting wounds. Okay, actually, we're all charmed. I didn't even realize. Okay, all of you, draw, draw these guys back, please. Thank you. So that's Laniara up there. You're doing okay. You guys can focus on these sirens. Take them down. Chain lightning might be effective on some of them. Almost got the siren. Okay, one of the sirens is down. That's good. I am holding up okay against this ray. Okay, Charmed is now gone. Please focus on taking these guys out. You're doing okay, you've almost got the Wraith down. The Ancient Wrath is... Okay, that's two Sirens down. Complicated. I didn't expect you to suddenly get charmed and brought up like that, but we are taking them down. We got rid of the main one. Just a few more to deal with. These sirens are surprisingly tough. Okay, I don't know who did that, but it hurt. Oh, son of a bitch. Enough with the charming! One more. Come on, finish it off. Yes. Take out the siren. We can get it dead. It's immune to cold damage. Right, right. So... Yeah, it was stupid of me to cast that cold spell. It did nothing. Except probably hurt our own guys. But, on the plus side... Bye. We got him. Indeed. Okay, just blow up the batteries, please. And we didn't actually really get any loot from them, it seems. Well, that does kind of suck. But at least we got through. Would have been nice if we had another way to do it, but oh well. Which means... Now we have this flooded cave. Let me drop down a save and then we'll look in. I think we might have just enough time to look at this. All right, let's investigate. As you traverse the, la the island, you arrive at an area that appears to be untouched by kith hands. Lush plants grow in riotous abundance around the entrances to several caves, and you can hear the sounds of animals and insects over the crash of waves on the beach behind you. When you walk closer, however, you notice that one of the cave entrances is too uniformly stru structured to have been created by nature alone. Inspecting it reveals a doorway carved in the aperture of the cave, Though a door no longer stands there now. I wonder what's inside.
Well, let's find out. Dargool. Shit. Draw them back, please. Because I do not want to fight them around a sigil. Alright, go after him now. Oh crap, we lost Jody. Ancient Lich Battle Mage! Okay, that paralyzed. There's no way we can take care of this now. Reloading. Right, so we're not going to fight them there, but I am going to send you out to get their attention. Lamp oil barrels, interesting. But yeah, I don't want to fight around that location of pain. Wait for them to show up. Alright. We got a corpse eater first. That is not a spell I want you to use right now. There's the Lich Battle Mage. Focus on the Battle Mage. The others are a bit annoying. Ooh. Cast that. Anyone shows up, they'll get they'll end up burned. And you can cast another spell that would be good. How about expose vulnerabilities? Actually, hold on, since we got other guys coming in. Alright, cast the exposed vulnerabilities. Okay, the Void Seer is now dead. That's a plus. Okay, get out of the way. You're getting shot a lot. Let's see. Tain's Chaotic Orb could help out a bit. Oh, hi! Okay, Aloth is down. Didn't see that coming. Okay, Aloth is back up. And Aloth is down again. Good job there. Aloth is back again. I'm sure the fire helped. Chain lightning, try that. Okay, the Lich Battle Mage is at half health. Will you guys stop just zipping around like that? Really annoying. Down goes the swashbuckler. Okay, we're doing well. We've almost got him. Okay, all that leaves is the battle mage. Don't really have much in the way of spells left. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, we're not going to use that. We just need to take care of this battle mage. Who has a lot of things protecting him. Loth is down again. We have, like, no uh, penetration, which does suck. You penetrate higher. Yeah, go with that. That's actually a good idea. If you weren't paralyzed. Okay, 
Paralyze, stop. Thank you. Oh, great. A phantom got summoned. What now? We're trying. You're getting healing, so that's at least something. How about a blessing? I feel like that could help out a bit. Didn't expect to find such a powerful lich here. Uh, refill half of your expended resources. You know what? That's actually a good idea. Are you even trying? Yeah, that actually helps out a lot. All right, expose vulnerabilities, please. All right, throw out Octane's Chaotic Orb. That'll at least do something to it. Then... Let's see. Minaletta's Missiles. Didn't expect that found. Necrotic Lance. It's almost down. There we go. That was painful. I mean, at least we managed to get it. But damn, that was painful. And we have Brawler's Grimoire, a unique one. Not that I'm going to switch out the Grimoires. Gladly. That said, we have Sigils of Pain that need to be taken out. Which you can do from far. Come on. There's another one here. For once, I did actually use the Empower ability. I never use that. <laughs> Almost got it. There we go. Alright, let's get on looting things. Oh look, a Sigil of Pain Wardstone. Ha! Huh. And this is where he was. Some wood, some things. Is that it? Did he not really have anything of great use? Oh, no, wait, there's more over here. Sure. The vapor wafting off these vats that smells faintly of copper. A sigil of darkness, Wardstone. Animancy Lab, Lich's Study. Is that it? Well, that's disappointing. I was expecting more. Alright, let's get out of here, and I'm gonna have to end the episode. Are we naming it? We are naming it! Explore the uncharted islands around Magrin's Teeth. Oh, dang, that was actually the other one. Well, that's perfect. Uh, let's name it... Lich's Loss. That's fine, I think. Okay, so we have explored the ones around Magrin's Teeth. Somehow we did it. We've basically done everything we have around the island chain, with the exception of Matare Okozi and Barakna's Observatory. So, first things first, we need a rest. We got some Mariner's Porridges, I'll throw those in. Oh, damn it. Rest, please. 
There we go. And with that, I am going to end this episode here. Next episode... How about next episode we actually go take care of Motari Okotsi, huh? I think that sounds fine to me. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chastic44. I'll send in a fly. That is Laniara, Adair, Jolti, Maya, and Aloth. This has been a Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. And I shall see you all next time.